even if no rules were broken. This morning we had a uh, crane incident. There was a clear violation attempt of the laws of physics. There were no injuries, which is paramount. Phil Beck is the bank's project executive. He says this part of the construction on the bank's project is shut down for now. We never want to stop work, but um, you know we've got a, a slow week this week anyways because of the weather. So we're going to take our time, investigate this, make sure we know exactly what happened, and as you say, uh, make sure that it does not happen again. Beck says the crane was unloading steel from one side of the parking garage to the other, a distance of about half a football field. With the boom fully extended, something went wrong and the crane toppled. It has a ripple effect beyond the workers. And now I can't even get to the pit folks because due to the uh, mishap with the crane. Martha Cruz is a delivery driver who's dropping off something at the work site. I went down to our normal delivery spot and the police said they have it all blocked off for me to come up top. And when I got up top, that's when I seen the crane turned over. We've learned the crane operator is experienced and this was supposed to be a routine job they had done before. Investigators are still trying to determine why it didn't work this time and a crane became more like a plane than it ever wanted. And this has been sitting like this all day across the top of this parking structure. They just now got this thing back onto the ground here. Now, this may have been much worse, except for it all sort of happened in slow motion. The weight on end, one end was slightly more than the weight on the other, and it basically just tipped like a set of scales. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. All right.